It was one of the largest land grabs in Bay Area history after the real estate crash of 2008. Foreclosed properties were snatched up for pennies on the dollar, turning investors into landlords. We found some investors are turning some neighborhoods around and helping to ease the rental shortage, while others are consistently on code enforcement's radar. This was originally the back of the house. Lee Versaji beams with pride when she shows me around the three bungalows she and her husband Russ are rehabbing into affordable family rentals on Morgan Street in Tampa Heights. It is a real positive feeling to think that we can make a difference. For years, the couple has been buying blighted properties in the neighborhood and turning them around. These were no exception. They were horrible. They had holes everywhere, the roofs, the walls, the windows were boarded up, busted out. Investors like the Versages are buying up homes like these all over the Bay Area. Foreclosed, abandoned homes that were bringing blight and crime and instead of flipping them, are instead turning them into rentals. Heather Frankel lives just down the street. How does that make you feel when you see these? Awesome, and I live down the street, so it, not too bad. it helps all of us. It's also helping families get into affordable rental homes that would be double the price in South Tampa. The deal on these, so good. We've got all three of these houses pre-leased. Uh, before they were even completed, and so we're scrambling to finish it and uh, get the families in here. Of course, taking advantage of a favorable real estate market for investors turned landlords doesn't always turn out so well for you, the tenants. Here's I-Team investigator Jared Holbrook. Jameson, we went looking into city and county records and found the rental property owners with the most code violations, violations leaving many in unsanitary conditions. Oh, it's a whole bunch of code enforcement violations. Sometimes when people rent... He's calling. There's a little guy right there. They don't get what they paid for. This thing is black as the ace of spades. Here's another little creature. These apartments are horrible. I don't recommend them for nobody at all. The I-team is out to find who's not living up to code. She's sitting in there waving and laughing at me. That's an employee at Ashford Apartments Place. They rank number two on the city's code violations list for rental properties. The owner is Remington Florida LLC, an affiliate of a Philadelphia-based company. We have the mold. You see the roaches that's living down there. We found they've had at least 11 confirmed code cases since May of 2013, with complaints ranging from mold and no smoke detectors. You see them down there. To roaches. Renters say they're paying for pest control out of their own pockets. And they tell us if you buy products, they'll take it off the rent. That doesn't happen. Management here had nothing to say to us. All right, let's call our property and y'all gotta leave. Excuse me, sir. Can we just talk to you real quick? The, the trailers are not up to date. Number one on the city's list. Oh, here, termites. Sandpiper Mobile Home Park in Tampa. And they're, ooh, they're everywhere. Records reveal code cases of termites and even units deemed unfit for humans. Code inspectors have had 23 confirmed code cases here in the last two years. Code documents list a real estate trust as the owner, a Lake Wales company, headed up by Mark Warda. He acts as trustee for the owner. We spoke to him by phone, and he had no comment. The property manager told us it's the renter's fault for not telling him about the problems. They're old, you know, so they, you know, they require a lot of upkeep. At every property we checked out, renters tell us their money seems to go down the drain. And getting out of a lease isn't easy. I feel stuck. I'm going to break my lease right now, and I'll just take it to court. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you. The I-Team is posting the top five city and county code violators on our website. You can check it out before signing a new lease at abcactionnews.com.